Hey, what's going on? This is Sunshine. And E. Hey, hey, what time is it? Story time. Uh huh. We're back, Sunshine and E. That's is right. Back that's in right. The house. Mm-hmm. Thanks for coming back to our story time. That's right. That's right. With story time, this is a little different. We first start story time off. We were basically, uh, you know, kind of giving us, you know, little little stories about us. You know, how we got a name, how we met, and different things of like that. You know, but uh, story time now is kind of we get into more uh, really. Breaking outside those simple things and really... Giving a little personality. Yeah, yeah. Giving some stuff that, you know, you could tell, oh, that person's this kind of person, that kind of person, whatever. So, they're thinking questions. So, when you look at this picture that's right here, in the, um, although it looks like my finger is in my ear, which it probably is, may, maybe just picture it on my mind saying, let's think about things, okay? So, <laughs> let's get into this one. In this question, we got a couple, maybe a couple questions, but uh, right now, we're going to start off with this question. This is... Oh, but before we get started, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, share and comment below. Now, let's get into it. Here's the scenario. Here's the situation. The question is, would you, for a million dollars, tax-free, that means you get the whole check, get the, all the money, be willing to spend 90 days in prison, not jail, but prison, for 90 days for a million dollars. Think about that. You thought about it? So what do you think? <laughs> I'm not trying to go to prison. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just, that's a really hard one for me. Mm-hmm. Um, because I don't know. There would have to be some some stuff behind it. Like, can he tell anybody? No, no, no. You can't tell nobody why you're there. Because you know what happens if you get there and you tell, hey, man, you, you tell the people in there, and then you're like, I put something on your books to give your family some money when I leave. You can't, you know, no, you just got to go in there. They can't know why you're there, what purpose, nothing. you just 90 days prison and... Um, okay. Okay. So, am I going to be protected while I'm in there? I or mean, I'm, I'm in there just like everybody else? I mean, you better start going to the gym and start working out. They got the weights there and do some... I go to the gym, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, I'm I not- mean... I- I don't know. Am I going to be protected? That, that's, I mean, it's the same question anybody else will go in there that's not under this little program. We they ain't got, got no choice. <laughs> I got a choice. Well, that's true. And then you do it out. So, I mean, just like them, will they be protected the same thing with you? Will you be protected? They got to think of those same things, whether they got there on their own or they part of this little experiment. I don't know, honey. I, I don't. I, um. <sighs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't I'm know. Say, I have no idea. So let me ask you this: if if there was a safe word or something you can do to indicate that okay, I'm, I don't want any more part of you. Keep the money. Get me out of here. Would you be willing to try it then? Now, if you at any time, if day, uh, you know, ninety eight, you say, "Ah, right, get me out of here." You don't get the million. And you don't. You don't get a portion. You don't get a percentage. We don't prorate it. You just get nothing. So you okay, let me let me say this. Okay, okay, so and I know this was the movie. I don't know if it was based on true story or not, mm-hmm. but Shawshank. Shawshank. Okay. Okay. Now that guy was in there, and he was innocent. Right, right, right. Exactly. Okay. So when he went to the warden, and or the other guy came later, and but because he was helping him or whatever the case is, he was benefiting. Him Mm -hmm. and the officers and stuff. He would not let this guy out of prison. So who... Who is going to be at my beck and call when I say 98 or whatever you say? Everybody knows what's going on that needs to know what's going on. So you don't have to worry about that. When that, you know, that clock hits them both hands up top, you get to get out. That's it, you know? So, I mean, that's a decision. Okay, maybe I would. I I don't know. Huh? Okay. (laughs) I don't Listen. know. That's a lot of money. I get it. But then it's my life, too. And, hey, I might be in the laundry room and somebody catch up. I'm not trying. No. Listen. Not, it, it. I'm just saying. I just. Yeah, see, well, for me, there's no question I'm going for the million. I know there's you no, are. Especially if I, you. Because you, you that kind of person. Yeah, I, listen. 
No, I'm not saying I'm any tough guy. So why don't you like do that. it and then just let me reap the benefits when you can't just Well, if we together, you're going to reap them anyways. You know, I'm going to throw you a couple thou, you know, keep, you know. A couple you, thou? Yeah, like, I'm not talking about like one or two. I'm talking about six or seven thou. But you it, better be coming up, honey. I want half. Oh, I see. No, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You gotta do. Half. You gotta at least do thirty five <laughs> days or something. Just 30, 35 days to get half of. But no, see, my thing is this: I'm not. I'm not gonna look at as I'm gonna be a tough guy and I'm as tough as the next guy. And uh, it's not. It's not gonna be there. It's. It's about assessing the situation and finding the best way to get through that. Outside of being somebody's lady, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I will look at. I might even pick the the, the smallest whip this guy and just whoop the crap out of him they put me in solitary confinement and I just have to mentally muscle through it and that way that keep everybody else off me because I'm by myself I'm going to feed me my meals there use the bathroom there so do a couple couple then get out and do a couple more of those and I can you know, go in solitary well I don't know that could play on you mentally though. I get that mm -hmm. I get that um, but then in, well you can't tell nobody I was going to say well then you still have uh, visitors Day, but I guess if you're in nah, solitary, yeah. you can't. Yeah, yeah, you, gonna, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, well, the people in your mind, they, that's your visit. But then again, <laughs> you're right? Yeah, you said what? There's people in your mind, imaginary friends you're gonna get after about mm. third or fourth day. That's that's. I right. tell you what, <laughs> while I'm in there, I get plenty of sleep mm -hmm. and get fit. <laughs> and get you some food too. Oh yeah, you pick your eaters. See, I, I'd be okay with that. <sighs> I'd be okay with that slop. I'm very easily pleased. Just give me a little, put a little more salt on it. I might be okay. I don't know. Yeah, you know, a lot of times I see people talk about food like on the airplane or in cafeterias, and I'm like, what's wrong with it? hospital? People talk about food bad. I just my palate ain't like that. My, you know, I mean, like, hospital food is not as bad as it used to be. You know, one thing. Secondly, uh, plain food. Well, I, when you do get it. <laughs> well, I don't know if they, since the nah, pandemic, almost, if they're ever doing it anymore. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think they started in some cases. Oh, okay. Man, you almost got to fly. You almost got to go do two or three days in the air to be able to get the food now. I mean, it's just, now it's a little cracker. And it, 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 the drinks and they, you know, it's kind of like you got to tell them, I want, give me the whole thing. Sometimes they want to pour, no, 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 give me, I'll do that. Give me the whole thing. But, you know, but getting back to the, the the meal, I think I'll be counting that meal. And I think I would do it. Like I said, I'm not trying to say I'm a tough guy. I would just find my way. That's that's kind of the kind of guy I am. I kind of assess the situation. And I kind of that have that chameleon effect where I, you know, just kind of figure out the best way to fit in and get through them 90 days. I wouldn't even think. I might get to the point after 90 days, I might want another couple, can I get them a couple weeks of this? You know, I might shut up. Might be coming with friends with some guys. You know, nah, so I'm walking out the door. <laughs> hand me my millions. You never know, but you know, y'all let us know what y'all think. But we're gonna we're gonna move on to another thing. And All this, right, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I no, mean, you, what, head, you finish with this, or are you good with that, or uh, yeah, we're just gonna I'm move done. on because we were talking about what's the other thing we we're gonna get into. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Okay, okay. Now you wanna you wanna start kick that start that no, too. Okay. I should have let you. I should have went first last time, but that's okay. Because <laughs> the reason why I say that because to be honest with you, I'm a mirror type guy. What I mean is I mirror the situation that I have. So, or I assess the situation, and like I said, the same thing. I kind of fit in because there's some people that's watching that might know us as watching. It's like, man, I didn't know that guy can say more than two or three words. Because if I'm around a room of talkers, people that talk and jam, whatever. I'm, I'm just letting them have their day. And I just sit back and he's like, oh, he don't talk. But then there's situations where I'm the talker. You know, there's situations where I joke and there's situations where I don't. I kind of assess the situation. I'm the, I'm like the ultimate person you want around because I'm allowing you to be you. And I don't have, I don't take any offense or take any, I don't get on you. I was like, okay, that, that person's that way. If you got a, if I got a talker, there's some talkers that can't be around other talkers. Because that's their thing. They love to talk. And so they're both trying to get in there. And that's not me. So when you say introvert, extrovert, it depends on what person I'm dealing with. And uh, and I'm different based on that. <clears throat> so, you know, I can't. I, now, I would say early on in my my career, my life career, <laughs> as I came up, I was more of an introvert. I was like kind of kind of kept to myself or whatever. And as I, I as I got older in uh I started, even though I did, when I t man, somebody speak to me, I'm going to talk to them, of course, and we have conversations or anything, and things like that. But I still was kind of like laid back most of the time, kind of like, got the person, know the person to get up. But now I can, you know, go somewhere and, and uh, 
middle of the store or restaurant and, and just talk to somebody who's not that a big deal. But I really mirror or I really kind of assess the situation, get in where I fit in, kind of, kind of, kind of person. That's kind of how I am. I always thought myself as being an extrovert. Mm -hmm. Extrovert. Okay. But um, in my um, work career, I guess, um, went to a meeting one time and everyone had to take a test to try to figure out. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like a little team building type thing. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, I, based on my answers, they said I was an introvert introvert oh really oh, okay and i'm like because mm, i'm a talkative person i sometimes i just feel like i talk too much but mm -hmm. i and i get along with everybody i mean like you said on the street i mean i talk to people on the street even if they don't talk to me and i'm mm -hmm. like oh. do you did you remember any of the questions or no yeah i no, have I honey that was no the reason why I was like, plus years yeah the reason ago, why i'm asking I is i was wondering what questions that they asked that you answered that you felt that's why they made that determination. Uh, they, you don't we probably yeah, yeah. explained it, and I don't oh, okay. even remember. Because a lot of times, I just yeah. said that's not true. I mean, I, 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 and I basically disagreed that I was an introvert. I basically felt like I was an introvert yes. based on my personality, right, right, and how outgoing I am. You know, I can say I'm an introvert in a sense that, you know, growing up, I was more or less. I kind of was sat back mm -hmm. and assessed who I kind of would, you know, in that arena at that moment, who I would can spark a conversation. I can spark a conversation with anybody, but would actually talk to. And, um, you know, being a dancer, I was a dancer in mm -hmm. high school that I thought that took me out of my quiet shell. Mm -hmm. And that's why I thought I became an extrovert because well, see, I think I think you have an association with the talking, which is, I think is a main part of someone that's close off to those who talk. But I think when you look at now, if someone says you say whether you're an introvert or extrovert, and you make that, oh, I think I'm extrovert. But then if somebody says, are you a partier? Are you are you a person to hang out kind of person? You be like, nah. I'm and I think they, I think it's the whole overall thing. It's not just the talking part. So I mean, I think if the people in, that took that that were considered extroverts they're probably the ones that did a lot of drinking like to go to clubs a lot like to hang out you know kind of loud when they you know they, i think it, it's more of the, the totality of these all these things outside of just talking and so that's why i then that's how i look at it too where the talking part you know i don't go too crazy with things it's never been, been me my, my my sign is libra and i like balance on most things I, i'm not this big zodiac sign type believer but that did hit home with me as far as balance I just you know don't like my food hot don't like it cold I'm just that middle road type of dude and so um so I think that's probably why because I'm looking at some of the people that maybe you've been around or we've been around people and y'all good friends but they're more of the that next level type people so maybe that's I'm thinking maybe when you took the questions so I was wondering what questions were asked on it I think that might be why they said that outside of just being friendly or talking and willing to talk, you know, that kind of thing. That's what I would think. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, y'all, I mean, people assess themselves a little different than other people do, too. So, I mean, you got to consider that, too, you know, because, like I said, there's a lot of people look at this like, you know, he talk. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I felt like I was an extrovert because mm -hmm. when I was younger, you know, I, my family, we're all talkers. Mm -hmm. We talk. Um, and everybody kind of overlaps one another. And every time I would, and I was the youngest, you know, at the time. And every time everybody would sit around talking and we telling jokes. And then I get ready to say, and everybody, I always got cut off. And so, and then I got cut off. And then, and then they got to the point where I was like, okay, wait, shh. She's got a question. <laughs> and then all eyes were on me and I didn't like that. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I didn't want to tell my joke, or I didn't want to talk yeah. at that point. See, their their family are they're talkers, but they they're storytellers. They lot they got a lot of they oh, they yeah. they're storytellers. Oh so yeah. There's a there's there's certain there's certain um, storytellers, I have different style, and most of the ones, in her family style, they're not like, 
it's like it's it's not that rhythm to it. So they might say something and go, give a little pause. And, but everybody respect the fact that okay, you still telling your story. So that that's the thing. Then that's when someone wants to jump in, and then they like basically come back. I ain't finished yet. And so there's a lot of but the stories are interesting. They're emotional. They you know good stories are here. I mean, I got some on tape. Maybe we play it one day. But that's the thing about the they're storytellers. So you're gonna. I mean, they could talk for hours because they bring up stories that they all were there. They bring up stories where something happened to them. I mean, just anything, you know, even when we, we had a family reunion and there were some things that had some issue about uh, one of the rental vehicles and that became a story, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, that's kind of how, how it is. I, I, my family's somewhat like that too, storytellers, but they're real, a lot of them, are, all of them, and usually you just have one or two in families, but pretty much they all kind of get that, you know, it's, you know, it's hard to get in. So I just sit back, relax, enjoy the show. That's what I do. But uh, y'all let us know what what your type is. And also, would you get that million dollars? I'm going for the check. I'm going to figure out a way to make it happen. And then we go out. We're going, we're going oh, it's, it's cruising and vacationing and staying in a luxury suite. You know, and then we come back with, I'm going to have to come back with at least a couple thousand. I ain't going to spend it all. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Be <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're gonna be all right, but that, you know that's what I would do. Y'all let us know what you may or may not do and what kind of person you are. But until then, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also share, and especially in this situation, please comment below. And I do believe that's it. That is it. Thanks for following Sunshine, Sunshine and E. e.